Thank you for choosing Loyola University Medical Center for your health care needs. You are on the road to recovery and will be going home soon. Your surgeons and nurse practitioners will work with you and your family regarding your exact discharge date. This video outlines and reviews the information that you may find useful when you return home. You will also receive a written copy of this information for you to review. If you haven't received one by the day of discharge, please ask your nurse for a copy. It's recommended that someone stay with you for the first few days after you're discharged home. We invite them to review the video with you. We will review personal care, showering, incision care, weight, pain, sleeping, activity, driving, lifting restrictions and precautions, diet, walking and activity, emotions, outpatient cardiac rehab, follow-up care, home health visits, medications, appointments, phone numbers, and emergencies. You should shower daily, but do not take a bath or submerge in jacuzzis, swimming pools, or hot tubs for six weeks. When you shower, use a mild soap such as Dial or Ivory. Start by cleaning your incisions first, then gently pat them with a the clean, soapy washcloth, then rinse with a clean, non-soapy washcloth. It is okay for the incisions to get wet. You can wash your hair and rinse without worrying. After your shower, gently pat your incision dry with a clean towel. Do not apply ointments, powders, or lotions to the incisions. Keep the incisions as dry as possible. Watch your incisions for any signs and symptoms of infection, which include redness, swelling, any drainage such as pus, blood, or anything that smells foul, fever of 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit or above, increased tiredness, or pulling apart of the incision. If any of these develop, please call the surgeon's office or the nurse practitioner. When you get home, weigh yourself daily in the morning before you eat. If you notice that you have gained two to three pounds in one day or more than five pounds in three days, please contact the surgeon's office. Your weight on the first morning after you arrive home on your scale will be your baseline weight. If you notice increased swelling in your lower extremities, bloating or swelling in your abdomen, increased shortness of breath, or becoming more fatigued over time, notify your physician or nurse practitioner. When you are not up and about, we recommend that you keep your feet elevated using a recliner or a chair with a footstool or ottoman. This will help with lower extremity swelling. Most patients have some pain around their incisions, rib cage, and or chest wall, especially when coughing, sneezing, turning, or using the incentive spirometer. You may have more aches and pains when you get home and become more active. The pain should improve over time. You will receive instructions about your pain medications before you leave the hospital. If your pain is not controlled at home, please notify your physician or nurse practitioner. Sometimes it is hard to sleep in the hospital and it may take some time to get restful sleep once you get home. Within a month or so, your sleep routine should return to normal. Here are a few suggestions that may help when you get home. Don't take long naps during the day. Avoid beverages with caffeine in the evening. Take your pain medication before you go to bed. Have a small snack before you go to bed. If you are unable to sleep, get out of bed and read a book or watch TV. You will not be able to drive for four weeks following your surgery. There is absolutely no driving if you are taking narcotic pain medications such as Norco. If you sit in the front passenger seat, move your seat as far away from the dashboard and airbags as possible. If you can, sit in the back seat. Always remember to wear your seatbelt and use your heart pillow for added support. If you are due for pain medication and need it before you are discharged, ask your nurse. Do not lift anything heavier than 10 pounds for the next six to eight weeks. This gives the breastbone time to heal. To give you a frame of reference as to what 10 pounds feels like, a gallon of milk weighs about eight pounds. 
no vacuuming, mopping, sweeping, lawn mowing, snow shoveling, digging in gardens, holding on to pet leashes, picking up laundry baskets, briefcases, children, or grocery bags. At the end of six to eight weeks, you may gradually increase the amount of weight you lift. You may do light housework and cooking when you feel up to it. During your hospital stay, you will meet with a dietitian and receive information about your diet. We encourage you to eat a healthy diet. Include fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grain foods like Cheerios, oatmeal and breads, and protein in your diet which aid in healing. Examples of protein include fish, skinless chicken, turkey, lean red meats and dairy products such as low-fat milk, yogurt, cheese, eggs and cottage cheese. Peanut butter and nuts are also high in protein. Be mindful of salty foods and items with added salt such as canned soups, lunch meats and frozen prepared foods. Too much salt in your diet may result in water retention and increased weight gain. It's important to eat healthy and consume enough daily calories to aid in the physical healing. If you don't have much of an appetite right now, it should get better over time. Eat foods you enjoy, but also eat heart healthy. Avoid high sodium foods. Remember, portion size and moderation is important. If three meals a day seem like too much at one time, eat smaller, more frequent meals. If you have further questions, please ask our nurse to arrange a visit with our dietitian. Your main activity upon discharge from the hospital will be walking. The day of discharge, go home and get comfortable in your surroundings. The next day, start your walking routine. Start with five minutes at a time, three to four times a day. Every day, add a minute on unless other recommendations were made for you by the cardiac rehab team. When you are up to walking 20 minutes, once a day is fine, just gradually increase your walking time from there. Pace your activity and follow it with rest breaks. As time goes on, your energy should start to improve and the fatigue will decrease. Avoid exercise equipment and weights until you become involved in a cardiac rehab program. Having heart surgery can be stressful on you and your loved ones. You may feel frustrated about things that you are not able to do right now. You may be worried about work or your family. You may be anxious about going home. All of these may make you feel irritable or depressed. These feelings are normal, but there are things you can do to make you feel better. Exercise not only helps you physically, but can also reduce stress. Follow the activity guidelines outlined earlier. Stay busy, go out to breakfast with friends, take a walk, but remember to take rest breaks too. Tell your doctor or nurse about emotional changes even if you don't think they are important. You can have a couple of bad days, but if it lasts more than two weeks, you need to notify your doctor. You will probably begin to feel more like yourself after about a month, but remember to give yourself about three to six months to really feel like yourself. You will feel better in a week and even more in a month. But remember that healing is a process and takes time. In four to six weeks following your surgery and with the approval of your cardiologist, you may be eligible for an outpatient monitored exercise program called Cardiac Rehab Phase 2. Patients who have had bypass or valve surgery usually qualify but we always suggest you notify your insurance company to verify your coverage. Phase two cardiac rehab helps you get your energy and stamina back in a safe and monitored setting. It also focuses on risk factor modification and education regarding your heart and heart disease, medications, diet, stress, and smoking cessation. It generally runs up to 12 weeks or 36 sessions. Sessions are scheduled three times a week and run for about an hour. You will be monitored by a team which includes nurses and exercise physiologists or physical therapists. They will be in contact with your physicians and update them on your progress. The goal is to help you achieve a healthy lifestyle. 
Before you are discharged, the cardiac rehab nurses will help you find a program that is convenient for you and provide phone numbers. Our social worker will arrange for a home health nurse to visit you after your discharge. Expect a phone call and a visit within a day or two of your release. The visit will consist of taking vital signs, checking your incision, and answering questions. The nurse will see you a couple of times the first week and based on your progress will recommend how many additional visits will be necessary. We suggest you write down any questions you have for the nurse ahead of time. You will get a list of medications that you should take when you get home. If you do not have these medicines or the dose has changed, our nurse practitioners will write a new prescription for you. Get those filled and start taking them as directed when you get home. Bring the list of medicines with you to your clinic visits. Only take the medications which are prescribed for you. Ask your doctor or pharmacist before taking any over-the-counter medications. On your discharge instructions, appointments to return to see the nurse practitioner and your cardiologist will be made. If there is a need to change these appointments, call the phone number provided to schedule your appointments. You will receive a list of phone numbers you may need once you leave the hospital. These include the Surgeon's Office, 24-Hour Answering Service, Five Tower Nurses Station, Social Worker, Cardiac Rehab, and the Nurse Practitioner. Please remember, what was an emergency before surgery is an emergency after surgery. If you are having difficulty breathing, feel like you may pass out, are dizzy or off balance, or are having other serious issues, dial 911 or go to the nearest emergency room. Remember, you have had a big surgery and healing is a process that takes time. Your fatigue should improve and your energy will return. For the first few days, stay close to home. Once you feel up to it, start taking small trips outside the home, such as to the grocery store, cleaners, or out for lunch. Remember, it's important that every day you get up out of bed and get dressed in comfortable clothes and not stay in your pajamas. The first few days, this may take a while, but it gets better with time. Thank you for choosing Loyola University Medical Center as a partner in your health care. If you have any further questions, please contact your nurse or nurse practitioner. We are happy to answer any questions for you or your family.